and welcome to your ELA course offerings for the 2022 and 2023 school year. I'm Ms. Johnson. And I'm Ms. Antofer. And we are the co-chairs of the English department, and we would like to guide you through some of your options um, so that you can choose the best class to fit your needs. Um, if you have questions beyond what we cover in our presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out to your current English teacher. Um, that is an individual who has a pretty good grasp of what the classes um, offer, um, and they know your current skill level, so they'd be able to make a good recommendation for you. So for your English classes, at the ninth grade level, many of you are taking either Standard English or Pre-AP. When you go into 10th grade, you actually have three options. You can take Standard English, Pre-AP English, or AP Language and Composition. From there, you can go into 11th grade, where you can take Standard English or AP Literature and Composition. And at the 12th grade level, you can take Standard English, Pima Writing 101, or Pima Writing 101 and 102. And it's important to point out that you don't have to take all four Standard English or all four Pre-AP. Um, at every level, you have any of the options available to you at the next level for whatever meets your academic needs for that particular school year. All right, so starting with pre-AP English in ninth grade, um, obviously an emphasis on reading a variety of texts, um, a lot of writing practice, and of course, discussion. Um, so there are a lot of parallels at the pre-AP level to um, the types of things being done at the grade level, um, but there is a very intentional focus on getting you ready for AP classes should you choose to take one. Um, Pre-A, pre at the 10th grade level, um, really honing those critical thinking skills and analyzing through discussion and through writing. Um, here, there is an expectation that you're able to do a lot of that work independently. So uh, being able to tackle those reading assignments outside of class um, would be a key skill. Um, one thing to note at the sophomore level, if you do take pre-AP as a 10th grader, you will not have an opportunity to take AP language. Um, so if you do want to stay on the AP track, you would probably want to do pre-AP as a 9th grader, AP language as a 10th grader, AP lit as an 11th grader, and then as a senior, you could do standard or you could do one of the Pima classes but AP language is only offered here on this campus at the sophomore level. And then moving on to AP language and composition. So this is a class that has a focus on nonfiction texts. So we look at memoirs, we look at speeches, we look at essays, um, modern and older, um, looking at the three pillars, which are rhetorical analysis, argument, and synthesis. So you will be doing quite a lot of writing in this class, preparation for the timed rights. We do some Socratic seminars. Um, you will also do multiple choice practice, um, a lot of different skills to get you ready to take the exam in the spring if you choose to. Um, a lot of what we do has connection to historical events or even current events, um, looking at cultural trends. Um, so having an understanding of those topics is helpful. Um, certainly not necessary though, but it can give your writing a little more sophistication if you can bring in some of those ideas. So uh, at the 11th grade level, one of your options is AP literature and composition. Um, and in this piece, you excuse me, in this class, you're reading exclusively fictional pieces, literature and poetry from a wide variety of periods and cultures. You write essays, you work through analysis, um, and have lots of discussions about all of these complex texts you'll read. This is one of the other AP classes, which means it is designed for you to be able to take the AP exam at the end of the course. Your options for 12th grade, in addition to standard English, are Pima Community College Writing 101 or 101 and 102. So 101 is a college level writing course designed to prepare you for college level writing. The difference between 101 and 101, 102 is that all of the work in 101 is crammed into the first semester of 101, 102, and then the second semester is additional coursework. So it is much, much faster paced. These are both writing intensive classes that are intended to operate 
the same way they would operate on a college campus. Please note that to take either of these classes, you have to have a minimum GPA of 3.25 or you have to pass the PCC reading and writing assessment. Uh, if you're looking to move on to either a two-year community college or a four-year traditional college, um, courses at Pima do count for credit if you earn a C or higher, and there is a small fee you have to pay in the bookstore. So those are your options. Just a quick overview for you. Again, if you do have additional questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to your current English teacher um, or pop in to talk to the current teacher of the course that you are interested in taking. Uh, thank you and good luck. Can't wait to teach you next year. Hello, my name is Mr. Bixby. I'm one of the teachers here at uh, Moran High School, and uh, we wanted to give you a, a very brief overview of all of your options for fourth year math courses uh, for registration this coming fall. Uh, first up, uh, we have financial algebra. It's a good uh, direction, a good way uh, for students to, uh, that are interested in business, finance, and entrepreneurship. We talk about all things uh, money related, including credit card interests, uh, taxes, financial planning, stock market investments, and retirement funds. Uh, and it's very student friendly and very real world, world applicable uh, for all comers. Next up, statistical reasoning and sports, it's another option. It's really good for students that are interested in data processing or computer science, uh, or for fields that might eventually not be uh, terribly heavy in advanced math. We use sports to teach statistics concepts. It's very fun and engaging, hands-on. Uh, and it's, uh, it's like learning to argue your point, but with math to back you up. Another course we offer is AP Statistics. This is particularly good for students that are headed to college in most fields of study that aren't heavy in math, advanced math. Fields like social sciences, political science, uh, business education, bio, and communication all have statistics as a requirement for a degree. Uh, and it's an excellent companion course to AP Psychology, AP Government, and AP Bio for environmental science. Uh, all students who are successfully pass the AP exam with a three or higher earn, uh, earn college credit in all state universities in the state of Arizona. We also have pre-calculus, which is a good direction for students that are headed towards college in degrees that require math. Uh, it covers similar material with honors or PCC calc, pre-calc, uh, but at a slightly lower pace uh, and uh, builds in more fundamental review. All topics like rational functions and logs, trigonometry, uh, trigonometric functions and conics are explored in detail. Honors or PCC pre-calc is again, a good direction for students that will eventually wanna take AP calculus or calculus in college. Uh, students that are interested in fields like engineering, math, chemistry, physics, and some business degrees should go through this course. Uh, it is, uh, they're set up for success, students are set, set, set up for success, sorry, with a brisk paced learning of all functions, including the rational log and trigonometric functions. And there's the exploration of conic sections here as well. Some particular notes. Uh, most of these courses do require the uh, successful completion uh, of Algebra 2. Uh, one of the biggest differences between AP Statistics and Statistical Reasoning is pace and depth. Uh, the AP course is intended to get students ready to take that AP exam and, uh, and be successful at it. Uh, students are also more than welcome to register in both AP Statistics and uh, Honors PCC pre-calc uh, or regular pre-calc. Uh, one in instances like that, one of those courses would be considered an elective. We strongly recommend that if you don't know which course to take, we really want you to have that conversation with your current Algebra 2 teacher to discuss the options. Uh, and with all, as with all classes, 
uh, in particular mathematics courses, your success comes from a willingness to learn and work hard. We want you to be successful no matter which direction you choose, uh, but we also wanna set you up for success after high school. So please feel free to ask teachers about all the options possible. We are here to help you uh, and help direct you into a, in towards a class next year uh, that will allow you to be successful regardless of which, which uh, path you choose. Thanks for listening. Hola, soy Senora Pelter y enseño español aquí en Marana High School. Hi, I'm Senora Pelter and I teach Spanish here at Marana. Did you know over 400 million people speak Spanish in the world? There are 21 countries that have Spanish as their official language. And the use of Spanish online has risen 800% in recent years. It is now the third most popular language on the internet, just behind Mandarin and English. Hola, my name is Maestra Taveras, or Miss Taveras, and I'm a Spanish 1-2 teacher here at Marana High School. But I also teach at Twin Peaks K-8. through so if you're a middle school student and you're thinking about electives for next year, you should consider taking Spanish 1-2 because it's never too early to learn a new language and you can also earn high school credit. My name is Senor Velasquez and I teach Spanish. As a native speaker, learning more about your language is one of the best things to do. I would like to encourage you to consider taking Spanish. What better way to learn your language, to use your language, and to embrace your language, talking with your loved ones. Hope to see you in Los Hola. Verdes. Hola, my name is Senora Ewing. I teach here at Marana High School. I'm also the Student Council Advisor, Tiger Pride. I want you all to consider taking more than just your two years needed to get into a university. Applying to a university and them seeing that you have uh, pushed yourself and taken a third year of Spanish is great on a resume. You can also take the CLEP test and maybe even get college credit. So join us in Spanish 561. Tigers. We want you to sign up for our ASL program, and here's why. American Sign Language is fun, and Tucson has a large deaf community. You can use your sign skills right away, no travel required. Our program will prepare you to be able to participate in conversations with deaf community members. Employers in our community like to hire students from our program for that reason. The skills developed in our program can also lead to long-term career goals. Currently, there's a shortage of ASL interpreters. Most colleges require two years of the same world language as an entrance requirement. ASL qualifies as a world language. As a bonus, dual enrollment credit through the University of Arizona is also an option. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Biswas and I am here to talk to you guys about our amazing PCC dual enrollment chemistry course on campus. It is a course that we have a partnership with Pima Community College. It is listed as Chem 130 in Pima bo uh, books. However, in our course book, it is listed as Chemistry Accelerated Chem 351. 
And um, if you have any question, my email address is listed here in case you need to get hold of me and ask some questions, that's totally fine. So what is PCC chemistry? PCC it is a dual enrollment chemistry, meaning that you receive credit for high school graduation as well as for credits of college chemistry. Isn't that amazing? So there is a little bit of prerequisite here. So make sure you talk to your counselors about this. And there is a PIMA assessment test. Make sure your counselor will talk you through this. Um, so these are some of the content that we will be covering in PCC chemistry. Um, and why take PCC chemistry? There is no high stake exam. So no, no exam at the end of the course, like in, um, like in AP courses. Um, it is a it, it will give you a college credit because it is a college course and it will transfer the credit to Pima College and from there to the universities. Um, these kind of courses are prerequisite for your health related fields, health health science major or any other science major. So that might that could be very helpful for those of you uh, students. There is cost, but you can earn college credit. Um, without paying a dime. So that's something that you should highly consider uh, as you go forward with this. Uh, all my, all our seniors and juniors on campus, uh, you should highly uh, consider this course because you do not have to come with any kind of chemistry uh, background to be able to enroll in this kind of course. Our former students who have taken this course and how they are benefited as they are taking college level courses now has to say very good things about PCC chemistry. And here is my email address. If you have any question, please feel free to uh, ask me questions and email me and I will be happy to answer your question. Thank you and bye guys. Hi, this is Mr. Calton, and I am here to talk to you about two AP science courses that are offered here at Moran High School. Uh, those two science courses are AP Physics 1 and AP Physics 2. Now, I know that you're thinking that uh, AP Physics uh, is a very challenging course, sounds like a really difficult course, and it can push you uh, in your thinking and as you develop deeper uh, critical thinking and problem solving skills. Uh, that's one of the big takeaways for this class, one of the biggest reasons why you should take it. So I support you as you're learning, uh, and many of my students do very well grade-wise and on the AP test. Other reasons to take the AP Physics uh, courses are that physics answers questions about the world that no other field can. It's fundamental to every other science, and most major technological innovations of the past century have come through study of physics and understanding of physics. The two courses that are offered at Marana High School uh, are AP Physics 1, and this is a first year course. You don't have to have taken conceptual physics to take this course. Uh, we just recommend that uh, you've been able to get a C or above in Algebra 2. There are many topics that we look at in AP Physics 1. And there are different topics that we look at in AP Physics 2. So if you're in AP Physics 1 and are interested in physics and want to further your knowledge in different aspects of physics, um, I would encourage you to think about taking AP Physics 2. Thanks. Hi everyone, I want to share with you why you need to sign up for PCC Bio 182 for majors. So PCC Bio is a dual college biology credit. You will receive both bio credit for high school graduation and college credit biology from Pima as well. This college credit is transferable to four-year universities and colleges within Arizona and then some out-of-state colleges as well. In order to be able to take this class here at Marana, you need to either be a 10th, 11th, and 12th grader, and you need to have strong biology, reading, and writing skills. In order to fulfill the requirements at Pima, you need to have a satisfactory score on their Ed Ready reading and math tests. Why should you take this class? So there's no high stake exams to earn credit. 
It's a college course and a college class, so credits will transfer to Pima and then from there to other universities. If you are interested in a health major in college or a science major, this class is most likely going to be a prerequisite, so you should um, invest time taking it here on our campus where you're not paying for college credits. The topics of Bio 182 include living things, looking at the organism, the population, their communities, and their ecosystems through the lens of evolution of life. So topics are covering evolution, classifying organisms, their survival strategies, how organisms are interacting um, within their environment and what those environments are structured and look like, and then also how humans are impacting those environments as well. As we're covering these topics, to develop a stronger understanding, we will do labs almost weekly. So something that is hands-on that we can work with to help us really understand those different topics. So there's plant dissections, we're looking at phylogenetic trees, um, thinking of the history of bacteria and viruses and how that applies today. So a lot of really cool hands-on things that we get to do very often. There are currently students on campus that have taken this class, as well as some students that have already graduated, but all students had really high reviews of the class. It was interesting. They were able to earn credit for the class while in high school. The topics were really marine driven, um, and it really helps prepare for those classes that you'll be taking at college. So as you're signing up for classes here soon, please keep this in mind, especially if you're really interested in a science or a health major in college, if you're really into biology and you really like marine life, this is a really awesome class for you to take. If you have any questions, please reach out to my Gmail. Are you a true crime fan? Do you like CSI, Criminal Minds, Bones, or Dexter? then I have the perfect class for you. Forensic science. You ever wonder how they do it? How they track down a killer? You too could be a part of it. Register for forensic science. The truth is out there.